Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about one of the very interesting problem in dynamic programming, and the problem is about longest increasing subsequence. I hope that you heard this uh, term before, which is subsequence, because there are many problems which comes under this kind of categories, which we have studied in dynamic programming. For example, we have studied a topic which is longest common subsequence. Longest common subsequence. I think you already studied this in the videos itself. We also have longest increasing subsequence. Then we also studied longest non-decreasing subsequence. Then there's a problem called as longest palindromic subsequence. Then there's a problem called as maximum sum increasing subsequence, right? So there are various kinds of problem based on subsequences. Again, a part of this are many problems that are there. So we have already covered this longest common subsequence in when we studied the introduction to dynamic programming. We have already covered this. Now in this video, we are discussing about the longest increasing subsequence, and this longest non-decreasing subsequence is just a variation of longest increasing subsequence. So we will be covering all these problems one by one in our videos. So first of all, let us understand what exactly is the problem and what exactly is the longest increasing subsequence. See, given a sequence A of size n, we have to find the length of the in longest increasing subsequence from a given sequence. And the longest increasing subsequence means to find a subsequence of a given sequence in which the subsequences elements are in sorted order, lowest to highest, in which the subsequence is as long as possible, and this subsequence is not necessarily contiguous or unique. Let me explain you with the help of a very simple example here. Assuming that you have a sequence here or you can say you have an array which is having the elements 3, 4, 1 and 5. This is a very small array which is having a total of 4 elements. Now we have to find a sequence here in such a way that all the values in that sequence is increasing. For example here we can have a sequence which is 3, 4 and 5. Not necessary that it is continuous but you can see all the values here they are in increasing order. In the same way, you can see this example. Here we have an array which is having the values 15, 27, 14, 38, 26, 55, 46, 65 and 85. If you take the values like 15, 27, 38, 55, 65 and 68, you can see all these values are in increasing order. And this is a sequence and this sequence present inside this array. So in the original array, this, this sequence is present and this sequence, all the values are in increasing order. So this is the longest uh, uh, increasing subsequence here. And here you can see what is the total number of elements here in this longest increasing sub subsequence that is six. So total length here is six. In the same way, if you look at this sequence, which is having the values 0, 8, 4, 12, 2, 10, 6, 14, 1, 9, 5, 13, 3, 11, 7 and 15. So in this sequence, in this entire sequence, we have to find out the longest sequence or you can say longest subsequence where all the values should be in the increasing order. This exactly is the problem. And when we say subsequence, it means uh, again uh, the values might not be repeating, right? For example, here I can say I can take a value zero, I can take a value eight, I can take a value twelve. Then the next increasing value is fourteen, and the next increasing value here is fifteen. So if you take this sequence, so the length here is one, two, three, four, five. So total length here is five. Again, there might be a sequence which is uh, bigger than this for example i can take a value 0 i can take a value 4 then i can take a value 6 then i can take a value 9 then maybe i can take a value 11 and then i can take a value 
15. Again, this is one more sequence and here the length of this sequence is 6 because there are total of 6 elements. So our task is to find out or our, star, our, our task is to write a program which can find this longest increasing subsequence from any given vector or you can say from any given array. This exactly is a problem. Now my question is how can you do it? What is the methodology you can apply to solve this kind of problem? So let us figure out a very simple methodology which I should call as a naive algorithm. So naive algorithm is something which is a very basic algorithm which every one of you can easily implement. So assuming that we have the following sequence which is 15, 27, 14, 38, 26, 55, 46, 65 and 68. And this is the original uh, sequence that we have and from this we have to find the longest common subsequence. Now we have, uh, let us give them some index locations here. Assuming this is the index location 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Now what we can do is to write an algorithm, there is a very simple algorithm that we can write. It will be something like this, that for integer i is equal to n where n represents the total number of elements and we have i which is greater than 0 and we are going to decrement it i minus minus we can do find all the sequences all the subsequence of this array which is of length i and then we can see if we can find all the subsequences of length i then if that subsequence if there is one subsequence there is one increasing subsequence then we can stop and say we found the solution then we can break we can stop and say yes we found the solution and this is one of the most easiest algorithm that can be present how does this algorithm actually work so let me explain you with the help of very small uh, with the help of a easier example here assuming that we have the following sequence 3 1 4 3 4 1 and 5 okay now it is having a total length of 4 so according to this algorithm first of all we are going to take the value of i as 4 that means find all the sequences whose length is 4 so the sequences whose length is 4 is there's only one sequence only one sequence is present whose length is 4 that is 3 4 1 and 5 and then i'm going to check whether this sequence is in increasing order or not you can see the sequence is not in increasing order therefore obviously this cannot be a solution then i'm going to take i as 3 so that means i'm going to find all the sequences whose length is actually 3 so uh, what are the sequences that can be present from this whose length is 3 so we can have 3 4 1 this can be the first sequence the second sequence can be 4 1 5 the third sequence can be 3 1 5 we can have a fourth sequence which is 3 4 and 5 and again we can also have more sequences here for example uh, right so this is the 3 4 1 5 3 1 5 can be there 3 4 5 can be there right and right so and again so these are the sequences whose length is actually 3 and then we are going to check for i is equal to 3 is there any sequence which is in increasing order so you can see the first sequence where this sequence is not in increasing order because this value here is a smaller value as compared to 3 and 4 you can see the second sequence here it is not in increasing order because 1 is less than 4 so this because of this value it is not an increasing sequence the third sequence again it is not in increasing sequence because 1 is less than 3 so this cannot be a solution but here you can see this is a solution because here all the sequence all the values here they are in increasing order 4 is greater than 3 5 is greater than 4 and so on so this sequence can be a solution so you can see here for this given problem we can have a longest sequence which is of length 3 
but again if we cannot suppose if we cannot find a solution here then we will go for all the sequences that are of length 2 we can check whatever how many number of sequences are present and then we can check all the sequences of length 1 and so on right so we can check for i is equal to 1 at minimum so this way this can be a very naive or very basic solution to this problem but this solution is not actually very uh, so it is very easy to uh, formulate but it takes very lot of i mean it takes a lot of time it's a very time consuming solution how can you say it is a time consuming solution you see if let us suppose that we have a value n which represents the number of elements in an array for example here the total number of elements here is 9 so if n is the number of elements and if i say that i is the subsequence of length i right it is a subsequence of length i then i say that number of subsequences of length i will be n factorial divide by i factorial multiplied by n minus i factorial so this will be the number of subsequences of length i for example here if i say number of subsequences of length 4 will be total 4 factorial divide by 4 factorial into uh, 4 minus 4 factorial so this value and this value can be cancelled so which can be written as 1 upon 0 factorial which is actually 1 so there is only one subsequence whose length is actually 4 now if I ask you what is the number of subsequences of length 3 so that will be 4 factorial divide by 3 factorial multiplied by 4 minus 3 factorial and this value will be 4 into 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 1 factorial which is basically 4 so there will be 4 sequences whose length is actually 3 in the same way if I ask you what is the number of subsequences whose length is actually 2 so that will be 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial multiplied by 4 minus 2 factorial which is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 divided by 2 factorial into 2 factorial so if you see you can cut all of them and so there will be a total of 6 subsequences whose length is 2 in the same way you can easily figure out how many subsequences will be there for a particular length but if you check out in terms of programming how many such subsequences can exist in worst case how many subse such subsequences you have to check so in worst case you have a total of order of 2 raised to power n such subsequences that can represent you might have to check which is a very very big number and it is basically an exponential problem so obviously because it is an exponential problem so it can come under the category of dynamic programming so you know now what is a uh, increasing longest increasing subsequence and we have to figure out a solution for this longest increasing subsequence fine so if you understood the problem now it is your time to stop this video and try giving a solution for this problem so i'll give you one more solution here which is a recursive programming solution uh, after this and then we will figure out how can we solve this problem using dynamic programming in a linear time okay so just stop here take your time think about the problem and think about how can you give a program to solve this problem easily okay